All right, this is question number three from the 2014 exam, and this is a thermodynamics problem. Uh, we have a sample containing three moles of an ideal gas taken through a series of equilibrium states represented by the enclosed path A, B, C, D, A, as is shown up above here. Uh, A1 wants us to rank all four points from least to greatest temperature, with one being the lowest temperature. And if we have two or more points at the same temperature, we're going to give them the same ranking. Uh, the best way of thinking about this is looking at your isotherm lines. If you, it's helpful, I'm going to draw them in right now, but I will erase this. It's helpful to kind of envision a bunch of isotherms everywhere. Okay, which are these curvy spots. And remember, as we are closer to the origin, your temperature is lower. And as you're further away, the temperature is higher. There are many other ways of analyzing this. I just think that's the easiest. We do get into one little bit of a quandary here. Uh, we will say that definitively, A is the lowest temperature. So I'm going to mark rank A as the lowest. And I know C is the highest temperature, so I'm going to rank that as the highest. Uh, B and D is what's going to give some of you trouble, because you might assume they're the same temperature, because again, you're envisioning those isotherms, and it's really hard to tell if they're on the same isotherm or not. So for this, I want to do a quick analysis of PV equals NRT. So at part B, so uh, for part B up here, I'm going to say the temperature at B, uh, PV equals NRT, so T sub B will be PBVB over NR. And it's going to be the same thing for, for temperature at, at D. Temperature at D will be P D V D over N R. Now if you look, the N R part of this doesn't change. So really all we care about is this product of pressure times volume. And if you look up here, the pressure and volume at part B is 3 P naught V naught or 3 P V. And down here at part D, it's P naught times well times 4 v naught. So we're looking at 4 p naught v naught. That, that does mean that the temperature at state B is indeed lower than the temperature at state D, only by a little bit, but it's still lower. So, if I continue on my ranking then, I know B is state temperature 2, uh, C is the third lowest or, or second highest and then as we said or I'm sorry I knew uh, see what I did uh, double check stuff here C is actually the one that's way up here that's the highest temperature so I'm gonna rank that four and D is the next highest so that one's three so your answer is actually one two four three don't make that error I did and just assume they're in sequential order already that would kind of be pointless <coughs> now, this was worth two points Likely could maybe probably get two of them right and still get a point, that's my guess. A2 wants us to determine the temperature uh, TD at point D in terms of P and V naught and our fundamental constants. Well, that, that's basically what I did up here. Um, but now I just need to plug in my values for P and V. So the answer to A2 is TD equals the P at that spot, which is P naught, and the V at that spot, which is 4 V naught. So I'm looking at 4 P naught V all over it. Well, and then don't make this mistake. N is not 1, and it's not a constant. They told us 3 moles, so N is equal to 3. So I gotta divide this by 3R. And that will be my final answer for A2. And this is actually only worth one point. All right, B, indicate all segments of the path A, B, C, D, A, if any, for which the work done by the gas is positive. The work done by the gas is not positive for any of the segments, then check none. Let me clean this up real quick. It 
I'm going to erase these markings up here. And we want to know where the work done by the gas is positive. Remember, work is P delta V, and it really depends on if you want to define it as by the gas or on the gas if you want to toss in that negative. So I like to think of it as if the volume of the container increases, the gas is doing the work, and the volume is decreasing, then something's doing work on the gas. So let's go through each segment. A to B. There is no volume change, so there's no work done. So that's not going to be right. B to C. There is work done here. And the volume is increasing. Therefore, it's the gas that's doing the work. And since it's written as by the gas, that is indeed positive work. B, C should be checked. C, D, there's no change in volume. So once again, there's no work done during that segment. And D, A does have a change in volume. Uh, but that volume is decreasing, which means some outside source is actually compressing this gas. So something else is doing the work here. So in terms of by the gas, that's negative. So unfortunately, DA is also wrong. Uh, basically, the only correct response would be BC. And justify it in a similar way I just did. But write it down. I'm not going to. This is worth two points. Process AB is the energy transferred to the gas by heating positive, negative, or zero. So let's look at AB. We know that the temperature increases. Why do I know the temperature increases? Well, again, if we imagine these isotherms back here, B is at a higher isotherm than A. Also, we can just refer to A1. We know B is a higher temperature than A is. Because the temperature is going up, and there is no work being done on or by the gas, uh, the heat needs to be put into the system to increase its temperature, so it's positive. And a great way to justify that is to look at that equation for thermodynamics. U equals Q minus W. Well, we already know that W is zero because there is no work done. There's no volume change, which means the internal energy of the gas needs to equal the heat added. And internal energy is uh, proportional to temperature. So we know the internal energy is going up because the temperature is going up, which means we need to add heat, not take heat away. Uh, C was worth two points. And finally, D, derive an expression for the work done on the gas. This is interesting. They've been using by throughout, but at this spot now they're using the word on. So pay attention to that. Derive an expression for the work on the gas in this entire process. Well, you may recall the work done on or by a gas is simply the area of this particular curve, that, that, that rectangle. And remember, if it's clockwise, that means positive work by the gas, which also then means negative work by the gas or on the gas. So in this case, our expression on the gas is clockwise, which means our final answer does need to be negative. So let's go ahead and do the area of this rectangle. And this um, work should be down at part D. I'm just going to do it up here because the graph is right up here and it's easier to work with that. Um, and so we're just going to do base times height. So we have 2 p naught. Uh, times 3 v naught, uh, which is 6 p naught v naught, and it is indeed negative because, as we just said, it's clockwise. And we're talking about on the gas. So if it had the word by there instead, it would be positive 6 p naught v naught. And uh, part D was worth two points as well. And again, as I've said earlier, these 10-point questions won't exist in the same way on the AP Physics 1 exam, or this would be AP Physics 2, uh, because thermodynamics. So just be prepared for slightly more complex problems.